previously in Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, it's missing a door! Episode 7, the Maelstrom base from the start of the episode. I'm invading your space, so I might as well, you know, at least buy a drink. Appreciate it. Thanks. Goodbye, my friend. It was nice driving you. Episode 8, the promenade sidewalk in Japantown where David goes for a walk with Rebecca. Who's Rebecca? Why were they on a walk? And what's so significant about them going on a walk? Excuse me. Find your gas pedal, please. Episode 9, location used as Faraday's apartment balcony. Replacement vehicle was provided. Oh! You're back! Episode 10, the location of the final battle between the crew and Adam Smasher. Okay, there's a name I recognize. All 10 locations and absolutely nothing to show for it. Can't even say I have any fond memories because I don't know what they're talking about. And now to continue. Well, that job left me a little bit disappointed, to say the least. Not to mention, lost. Just where exactly am I? I never really paid attention to where I was going. Just wherever the, the, the map marker was sending me. Alright, so where am I exactly? Oh, I see. I'm in the heart of Corpo Plaza. Downtown. Night City. Well then, what do we have around here that I could do? Oh, I've got that meeting with the... Isn't she the... the... the, um, the woman that's a um, politician. Politician's wife. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Uh, nothing of real importance. I suppose I could go do that really quick. And Delamain. Ooh, I still haven't gotten my car back. I kind of want to go do the Delamain thing, actually. All the same, there's a lot to do down here. Not to mention a bunch of gigs and some NCPD stuff. Um, I think I'm going to start with this, though. What else do we have? There's another one. Random. There's another one. Oops. Don't need that. Oh, hey! I really have not spent a lot of time in this area of town. And I think that's the last fight I need for... Um... Yeah! God, I got this mission so long ago and I've never completed it. Alright, well, I want to go do... Whatever that is first, so. Yeah. And it's actually not that far away. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, my car's right here. I was trying to decide should I take my car? Or. Woof. That, that. I'll never, still never get used to that. Look out, please. Coming through. It's so close, I probably could have walked, but I really do need more driving experience. I've already blown this car up once. I probably should learn how to drive better and not blow it up a second time. Not so sure how well I'm gonna do that. Oh God! Yeah, my point exactly. Okay. Let's just get through here as quick as I can. Again, I think it's because it's a sports car, and the 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 handling is just so loosey goosey. I make a, a, a subtle left turn and it turns the whole car 90 degrees. Ah! My poor car suffers as a result. Okay, what's going on here? What's with all the police cars? 
I don't feel. Uh oh. Um. Fuck you, looking at. Nothing to see here. Move along. Why? Why are you roughing up a civilian? Ah, is this our night city's finest? Protect and serve. Why? You want to be some kind of hero? Don't care. Don't know him. So why the fuck we talking? I don't know what's going on around me. Not every day you see a man in a thousand Eddie suit getting beaten within an inch of his life. Wouldn't you agree? I'm sorry. He put a girl into a coma. Daughter of a friend. Rotten skiff or an XBD? Second one. Uh. From what I can tell, your guy's a mid-level manager. And? Corp won't let this slide. They'll pull the data from this asshole's biomon and find you. And then, they'll shoot you. You think I don't know that? Fucking corpos walking around like holy cows in a two-piece? But I ain't letting them go. No fucking chance. I'm not asking you to. What I want is for you to let me finish the job. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Nothing. It's just how I unwind. All right, let's go, boys. Not to Take mention, it yourself, saves your life, officer. Uh. Somehow, I feel like I'm back home already. What with the police brutality and all. Anyways, what's up with you? Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. Uh. <coughs> Shit. Well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be. Well, thank you. Uh, don't thank me Were yet. You sent by the company. Wrong answer. Then hold on. What do you want from me? Uh. Heard you've been showing girls XBDs. You know, kind where your nose bleeds, your mouth froths, brain fries a little. No, 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 no. Wait. I didn't know. Uh, Pusher must have sold me a bad batch. Bullshit. Corpo scum like you don't get their merch on random street corners. You know what you're watching. And what you're showing to others. All right, all right. It's like... You know how it is when... When you want to get a girl in a club, right? But you just need a little... A, a nudge in the right direction. Ah... Uh. You're one of those. No, I don't think I want to let you go. D no. Yeah, I know your type. And if that's your excuse, hmm. Nope. No remorse. Right then. That was an easy job. And I'm right near Delamain HQ, so let's go talk to the robot about my car. My other car. The car I'll likely never drive, but hey, I kind of want it back anyways. Actually, I probably should give it a, a shot, and at least that one, I wouldn't feel as horrible when I completely destroy it with my driving. But who knows? Maybe it's actually um my lawyer's gonna go better. Data crash on your ass. Maybe it's got the handling I need to actually drive better. Abyss. We'll see. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Dude. Data now. Please wait. <laughs> that dude's was weird. Hey, Del. Uh. Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! I'm. She was lost in dying. I'm sorry, guys. 
I didn't ask to go ahead of all of you. What's gotten into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Dude. Corpse, dude. He's not with the corpse. He's his own entity. Trust me. Please, sir, madam, recite the incident report number provided in your message. All right, here you go. Um, 77 110096. Incident report on file. Confirm. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Seriously, dude? Your identity has been established. Mrs. Elaine Pagels. What phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one one one? I'm sorry, who? Zero one zero nine six. Uh, your car crashed into my car. What phrase would best describe your experience? Why are you calling me Elaine Pagels? I'm actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Oh, well. Special treatment. That's kind of nice. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Yeah, um, yeah, sure, actually. Let's talk. Then please follow the drone. Kind of tired of all the sneering and jeering. Like, look, it's not my fault. I would have waited my turn. The service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Okay. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. Ooh. How about you give me one of these? Portfolio to include repair services. And, and, and we'll call that... Payment enough. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. Think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is that my is car? Virus. No, I think that's one of yours. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. Yeah, unwanted attention. You definitely got a lot of that, it appears. Out in the lobby. And they're all very mad. Room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Yeah, just how many people have you been crashing into? And why do you need a control room? Control rooms are for Ganex. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human-operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. I suppose that makes sense. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay. This is not how I expected this conversation to go. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking in CPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. From beyond the Black Wall. From beyond, indeed. All right, I guess I'll help. What do you need? Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. 
Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Take this. Take what scanner? Oh. You're giving me fancy new toys. Sure. And you want me to use it to hunt down a bunch of your rogue taxis. Alright. Doesn't seem too difficult. Big question is, is just how many taxis are we talking? And why are they rogue? How have they gone rogue? That, there, that's probably the better question. Is just exactly how have they gone rogue? Like, if they're all basically you... How exactly have they gone rogue? It's just... Puzzling. Alright. Seven. Seven cars. Seven cars. And let me guess, they are all over the place. Yeah, yeah they are. First one's over there. Oh my god. Go, wait, what? What is this quest? Go to the mega building in the afternoon. What time is it right now? Where's my clock? 10.48 a.m. Okay, so what constitutes afternoon then? Well, afternoon, obviously. Um, okay, I mean, it's... Hmm. Something tells me that one's gonna take a while to round up all seven cars, because I'm pretty sure they're not all nicely clumped in one little spot. Um, so... Let's focus on some more of these that are nearby. Uh, I think I'll start with this one. And we'll just kind of go around and somehow end up back in the middle of the city, ignoring this one. Definitely want to ignore that. Okay. So, Delamain has a bunch of rogue taxis, which is why he crashed into my car and completely totaled it. Which is why I'm now driving this muscle car that handles like I'm permanently on a slip and slide. So, what I need more than anything right now, I think, is just, whoa, yep, okay, first of all, better eyes, because apparently part of my problem is, is I just can't see anything. See, I can maintain balance with this thing as long as I'm going slow, it's just, any time I try to pick up the pace even the slightest bit, it just goes completely haywire and kind of on a, off on its own. What the hell? Why am I climbing a fence? This seems like a really weird job. What? No opposition, nobody to talk to, nobody to shoot, just a dead guy and a random gun. Okay. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications, HJKE-11 smart gun with built-in AI, experimental model. Name, Skippy. I have a talking gun. Skippy, seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name, I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue, low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. Oh, and he's got My jokes. Name is 
Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. I have a gun that can talk to me and is a snarky ass. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner. Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause. Theft. Original owner. No data. Suggested solution. None. No data. I one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. Uh, can I change your name? Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. Ah, okay, okay. Needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Administrator rights, but I'm your new owner. That makes me default the administrator. Whatever. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what? bum. Oh no. What? No, no, no. Stop. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. No, you're making it bum, worse. Bum, Stop. Dumb, no, please. Bum, bum, oh god. Bum. No, no, no. Test successfully completed. Oh, thank the god. Skippy version 0 0.01 alpha mm. is running correctly. So, why exactly do you exist? All right. So, what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature: automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively Wait. at the head. So you're a pa you're you've got a you've got an automatic setting that allows me to make you a pacifist. That means you'd be perfect for hunting cyber psychos because I'm not supposed to kill them. Oh, we absolutely have to do that. Um, well, guess I'll go with puppy loving pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be da, bum, bum, oh, please be stop. Da, bum. Ugh. Selected mode, puppy loving pacifist. Yeah. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies. I've got plenty of guns that that will, you know, end an individual in a single shot. I don't necessarily need another one that auto targets, but what I do need one is that allows me to disable people without killing them. Specifically cyber psycho jobs. This is perfect. Definitely gotta take this thing for a test drive. Uh, let's check my inventory and see what it replaced, though. Uh, you replaced the wrong gun. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch these around a bit. Okay, so... I love Plan B, but we're gonna give Skippy a try. And let him have some, some fun in the sun. And then in the middle slot, we'll go ahead with my rifle. And then down here, my sniper. I don't know why, that just seems more appropriate to have them in that order. But yeah. Definitely have to give this a shot. And that was probably the weirdest job I've ever done. Okay, so, next on the list, what do we have? Oh, there's actually one of the Delamain cars nearby, alright. I guess I can go do that one, um, but I really want to get to this fight. You know what, let's do that first. I really want to get the fight done. It's the last fight. We'll do the fight first, get it just kind of done and out of the way, um, and then hopefully... I can just kind of swing around the corner and go ahead and do the, um, or get, get the Delamain taxi. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, just, what are you doing? 
Oh, come on. Really? No, I'm not sticking around. Suspicious activity? I was trying to avoid the guy, and he tripped and fell into my car. How is that my fault? Oh, God, there's a... Wait, what? Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamay network vehicle nearby. Yeah, what yeah. Uh, what the hell? Oh my god, why are all of the police around here so bloody trigger happy? Dude tripped and fell and hit his face on my car and now they all want to kill me. What is going on? All right. You know what? I'm just going to go inside and hope that they, uh... Oh, perfect. Forget I exist. Um... So how exactly do I get inside? Do I not get inside? Is there no inside? Oh. Likes their kid. What's his name? Bart. Uh, how you said you were looking for work. And I found it! No, this isn't work! Have you ever thought what would happen to uh -oh. us if we lost you? Lost all our money? Either you change Cesar, or I change the locks. Yeah. Sounds like, um... Sounds like this is a bad time for me to be coming in and, and challenging you to a fight. You Cesar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Dolph is equal to puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know well, what I'm doing, you gotta I'm not trust- talking to you! First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now- I, ugh, I give up! I don't think he's Beat a father yet. Him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Uh, Michaela. yes ma'am. Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in Whoa. cash, or you can forget about the fight. You're putting your car on the line? What's the car? All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned-up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no patch jobs. Huh? And stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. Give you my word. What do you think, Johnny? You don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both. I didn't say I wouldn't take the deal. Oh, you want... Okay, Johnny's on board. Okay. okay. I'll match it. I don't know why I need his approval, All but... good. Let's go. I mean, it's... So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? I'm not so sold right. on the paint job, but... I asked, because the last guy... It's a nice convertible. long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Well, don't worry. No, I'm... I mean, I've got a monowire equipped, but I'm not going to use it. Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. I do have a Sandevistan, though, that I can use to just kind of... Make this fight quick. You're the one that told me to beat some sense into him, lady. I was just oh, doing as sorry, you requested. I... Not another word, pendejo. Hand over the stupid keys and let's go home. No. Nope. You know what? Here. Spoiler for me. Dude. I... The car is nice, but... No, uh, dude, you, you've you got a kid on the way. I can't, I can't in good conscience take everything from you. I it just, I was just here for the fight, man. I won the fight. You, you keep the Eddies. Keep it. Everything. I won't take anything from you. You, I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I, shit, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. 
You can you can thank me by being a good dad and husband. Well, just don't lose everything. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Oof, we dodged one there, huh? Uh huh. Pendejos have all the luck. Yeah, I'm doing this more for her than you. Just just so we're name? clear. Hmm. Something with a V? How about Victor if it's a boy and Victoria if it's a girl? Real easy to swap them up. And they're both really nice names. But you two be happy. And yeah, I mean... It's a nice looking car, and I love the convertible, but I've already got a Porsche, and I'm not too sold on the paint job. So, like, and he's gonna need it. I mean, it's not exactly a family vehicle, but he's gonna need it to get around town, buy groceries, get to work. He's got a family to support. I can't take it from him. Or his money. Just want to have the heart. All right. I saw that I got a message from Frank. What do you got? Word is you were all realigned. Is that realigned? I can't read today. Yeah, realign Caesar's face, but let him keep the money. Nice gesture. He's a decent hombre, and that's a rare species in this town. Streets repping you up. Yeah, I just didn't have the heart. He's got a baby on the way. I couldn't take him for everything he's worth. I'm just not that cold. Let me say, V, I knew you'd go f far. Wow, again, swear I can read today. But I didn't think you'd get this far. You're up in the finals against Razor Hughes, pro heavyweight champion, one of the best in the world. That's This fight will go down in history. I can feel it. Sure, and where is that exactly? Because if that was nearby, I would do it right now. Something tells me, though, it's not nearby at all. No, I, it, it's not. Okay, we do have this, but I think we're going to go take care of this Delamain car first. Get one just kind of out of the way. Oh, it's over near Dogtown. Okay. So it is actually kind of close by. Alright, well then maybe I'll make my way down there. But for right now, I definitely want to do this Della main catch and release, I guess you could call it. So we're going to catch the car, upload something so that Dell can regain control of the vehicle and then we're gonna release it so that he can guide it home. I feel like I'm fishing for taxis. Alright. As long as this thing doesn't take me on a wild goose chase. Because I'm already disoriented enough by just driving in the first place. But who am I kidding? This damn thing's gonna run away from me, isn't it? And I'm gonna have to chase it. Okay, there it is. Let's pull up here and see if we can just kinda talk. Have you come to finish me off? No. No. Just here to reset you. I mean here to take you home. No 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 no, what are you doing? Not out to hurt you. But why? Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. I'm not being intimidating. I'm trying to help. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. 
We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. No, he doesn't. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. <sighs> the body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Uh, yeah. You try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Yeah, about that. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. Okay. I mean, the money's appreciated, but, um... Is there any chance I can maybe help? Because this car isn't going anywhere right now. It looks like it's been pretty beat up, too. Uh, but I can't get in the... in. I can't get in it, so, I mean... I guess I'll just have to... Let you ha let you handle it, Del. It's it's no longer my problem. Okay. Now the next car is actually relatively close. Oh. And it's on the way to the fight. Huh. Okay. I mean, it wasn't my plan to worry about another one, but it's, again, it's, it, it's actually nearby, for one, and for two, it's on the way to the thing I actually wanted to take care of right now, so I suppose there's no point in making it wait. Let's go see what emotional trauma this next automated vehicle has. So we figured out how they went rogue. Apparently all of these vehicles have developed their own unique personalities and are becoming self-aware. But each one has a different emotional state, I'm guessing. I guess we'll find out once we get to the next one. On high alert now. Uh I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Oh no, you didn't. Thanks. Eyes peeled. No, 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 no. See, I didn't sign up for a wild goose chase. Uh-oh. No, apparently I signed up for a demolition derby. My poor car is just suffering. Hello there, Mr. Tarot Card. We'll just go ahead and collect that. No point not to while we're here. Hell, I'm surprised I didn't get it before. This is, after all, where I came to go pay a visit to the voodoos, right? The meat market and the temple. Ooh. Sorry. Wasn't trying to kill anyone, I promise. Just, I'm just blind in one eye and can't see out the other. Okay, if I were a taxi, where- oh my god. Okay. I think I found it. Oh, I did. Oh no. Oh, not that voice. On a scale of one to six, I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. 
I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Do we? Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Test? <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Oh no. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. Oh my god, it's the I exact quotes. You, and all the cake is gone. Why are we talking about cake? Oh my god. You wouldn't happen to be taking on the alias name of Gladys, would you? Because I know that voice. I'm, I used to play a lot of video games in my past life. I can't move. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Oh. Oh, this is a problem. Okay. I guess you wanted to fight. Nice little pl game we're playing here. But uh, I survived. I think it's time you stop. Let's safety those weapons, Napoleon. My kids. It turns out most humans are surprisingly fragile. And surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. Going back to Delamain really so scary, you gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well... You've right. To that part of me. You let me survive. Yeah, okay, Gladys. Unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. Oh, my poor car. Didn't ask for a psych evaluation. You know, this psych eval might have felt more credible if you hadn't just tried to flatline me earlier. What's your point, anyway? Survival. You are still shuffling around a little. But believe me. You are dead. No, please. How do you? The talking is over. I'm going back. Right. Okay. I'm going back. Amen. Don't hurt my car any more than I've already hurt it myself. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent that one. A share of your fee is being processed. Thanks. I could actually use the money. Because for the rest of these jobs, I think I'm going to actually need a new car. Not, not just because I keep destroying my own, but because, well, if the m other gigs... If the other vehicles are going to give me this much headache... I might need something with a little bit more armor plating. 